You're listening to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcast on setting up a European Public Prosecutor's Office. The European Parliament will vote next week on a procedure allowing 20 member states to set up a European Public Prosecutor's Office to combat crimes affecting the EU's financial interests. We'll be right with you. The Union and its member states often face complex cases of, for example, fraud against EU structural funds or large-scale cross-border VAT fraud. And in many cases, national investigators and prosecutors lack the tools required to act quickly and efficiently across borders. To remedy this situation and ensure an equal level of protection of the EU's financial interests across the Union, the European Commission proposed in 2013 to establish a European Public Prosecutor's Office. So what is it? Far from being an almighty supranational parquet, the office would work as a decentralised EU body with a hierarchical structure. The central office would be composed of the European Chief Prosecutor and the College of one European Prosecutor per participating member state, as well as the European Delegated Prosecutors, who would be located in the member states and ensure the day-to-day conduct of criminal investigations. The office would have the authority to investigate, prosecute and bring to court the perpetrators of crimes against the Union's financial interests, working in cooperation with national authorities. It sounds good, but apparently not to all member states. Given the lack of unanimous support registered in Council, an enhanced cooperation procedure allowing some member states to push ahead with the idea was launched in April 2017. Now, 20 member states are on board and have already signed on to the functioning and role of the new office, but more could join in the future. However, to go ahead, the 20 first require the consent of the Parliament. MEPs have advocated a strong and independent European Public Prosecutor's Office with a different jurisdiction from that of national authorities. So all eyes will be on MEPs next week as they prepare to vote on this controversial proposal. You're listening to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcasts. 